Hello everyone, this is Maria Benson and I want to show you how to use a pivot table to do cross uh, tabulation. So I've already opened my file. We worked with the restaurant file before. So if you go into your web files and, and find restaurant, that's where I am. This file contains 300 elements and I'm going to create a pivot table. So in order to create a pivot table, we're gonna go up to the ribbon so there, here's my cursor, insert, pivot table. Excel has automatically highlighted the data that's contained, the 300 um, elements, and we're going to work in a new worksheet. I'm gonna click here and click OK. Once we get here, we see that the three elements that were in our previous worksheet, the restaurant, which is the identifier, the quality rating, and the meal price, are all listed here. We're going to put the quality rating in the row column. So here we have our quality rating, the excellent, good, and very good. And then we're going to um, we're going to look at the uh, the restaurants according to their meal price. So meal price we're going to put into columns label here. Here we go. And then the restaurants themselves is what we want to do a count of. So we'll put the restaurants here and values. Now, what we want to do is to actually count the number of restaurants in each field. So in doing this, we're going to go to the value field setting, click on count, gives you a count of each restaurant that is in the excellent column that it falls into the $10 range and so on. So now if you look across the top, with the restaurants in terms of um, the dollar amounts. We know the dollar amounts range from $10 to $48. This is a lot to try to digest. So let's group the dollar amounts. And we do that by coming here. We'll go to the first column, $10. Right click and group. We're gonna group them according to what the book tells us from 10 to 49. And we're gonna group them by $10. Here you go. Now we can make this pretty and we could actually go through and we can make all the columns the same width. So I highlighted the columns, I'm right clicking, column width, let's say 10. What does 10 do? There we go. And then I'm going to center them. Makes it a little bit easier to read. So now, just to do a little bit more cleanup, let's say we want excellent, good, very good. Let's say we want them in the order of good, very good, and then excellent. Let's right click on excellent. And we can go to move. Move excellent to the end. And there we have it. We've done it all in three minutes. So stay tuned for the next lesson on Excel. Thank you.